Welcome to CSCMA. Here we are going to learn about algorithm and its characteristics and properties of an good algorithm. And what is the flowcharts? And what kind of symbols flowchart use to design any flowchart? And here we started. What is an what is algorithm? Algorithm is basically a step by step solution to a problem. In computer systems or in general life. We face a lot of problems and we define some systematic approach to solve these problems. And this systematic approach is known as algorithm. In computer terminology, it is a finite step by step procedure that used to achieve any required results. And it can be also said as a set of rules or instructions for carrying out any calculations either by hand or by using a machines that is computer and by using alg algorithm we can design a good programs and we say that the algorithm is the building block of a better and powerful pro program program is basically set of rules and instructions that designed to perform a, a specific or a special kind of task into computer systems and here the properties and characteristics of algorithm there are five characteristics of algorithm that must be followed by any algorithm and first one is the input algorithm must take some input it can be zero or more quantities supplied as input to the computer or algorithms <coughs> for further processing and second is the output algorithm must provide some up output after the processing or as a result of any operations and defin definiteness definiteness means the instructions must be clear and ambiguous means the defined instructions or the set of instructions that we define to create a, an algorithm must be clear and easy to learn and fourth important properties of an algorithm is finiteness means algorithm must be terminates after a finite number of steps in the sense when we design a, an algorithm it must be terminates or generally we write say a loop program using a loop and when our loops continues to looping and executing and executing and doesn't produce any outputs it doesn't have such kind of capabilities means the alg algorithm must be terminated after a finite number of steps and the last important characteristic of an algorithm is effectiveness means after performing some steps and written any algorithm it must be sufficiently simple and use the basic syntax that can be easily understandable and we can use it and why we study algorithms purpose to study an algorithm these are when we design a good algorithms then we can easily design a good programs so we say that a good development of a good development of a good programs is totally depends on the designing of the good algorithms and when our program is efficient it can be easily sell and if sent program fully and totally utilize our hardware systems means so when let's take an example we have a computer that having the i7 processors and we just use this computer to write uh, write uh, some word files and creating some presentations that these operations and then these functions could not clearly utilize our the computer systems means that core i7 can perform a loads of operations and functionality at a time so algorithm must must <coughs> design in a such a manner that can provides the better utilization of the hardware systems 
an exam let's take an example of an algorithm here we have a problems that need to calculate the sum of two given numbers and we can write an algor algorithm to calculate these operations as follow firstly we need two variables that is a and b and by using these variables we can take the input by user and store these inputs into these variables here reads value of a and b and we second in in second steps we can perform some operations of these two numbers a plus b and store into the another third variable sum and at last we display the sum and at the fourth fourth and the final final steps our program is stops these four steps need to be follow to create the algorithm to calculate the sum of two given numbers and now now we are going to learn about flow charts what are the flow charts and why it is designed so flow chart is basically a pictorial or graphical representation of an algorithm in which how data or instructions follow or transmitted from one steps to another's so we can say that flow chart is the pictorial or graphical re rep representation of an algorithm that represents the flow of instructions or data and it uses some special kind of symbols here flow chart symbols and first symbols is oval name oval and it represents the start and stop of a program flow means when we write any program write any al algorithm then oval rep represents the starting and stopping of our algorithms and second symbol is the parallelogram that represents the input or output of an algorithm and rectangle rectangle used in flow chart to represent a process means when we take input from the user two input from the user a and b two numbers then we need to add these numbers then rectangle is used to represent the addition process of these numbers and another symbol is the diamond used for decision making when we we have two cases right or wrong or another cases another decision making cases then we use the diamond symbol to represents the flow of these kinds of data and arrow arrow are basically a connectors that used to connects two or more flow charts or these flow chart symbols together or <coughs> and another symbol is circle circle is also called the page connector in flow chart that indicates the connectivity of one flow chart to another flow charts means when we creates two flow charts and we design l and flow flow charts such a manner in that two flow charts must be connected together then circle connect page connector is used for this purpose and double sided rectangle double sided rectangle used in flow chart to represent the predefined functions predefined processes like as subroutines in microprocessor or the computer system subroutines are the basically programs written outside the main program and we can mul multiple time execute these and call these subroutines to perform any special or specific operations and so we say that when the civil engineer or the mechanical engineer design a building or a car layout then he finds easy to construct the building or creates the model of a car as same as in computer terminology the programmer designs a flow chart to easily implement or design a better algorithm so by using flow charts 
we can easily design a better algorithm and that must be more powerful and and easy to learn and design algorithms here we take an example of a flow chart we having the same problems to calculate the sum of two numbers then we we construct and flow flow chart as here we starts start and we takes two input a and b so just a and b put it into the parallelogram and we need to calculate the sum of a and b so we take another variable c and it provides into the rectangle symbol and this represent the process of calculating the sum a plus b and the output of this output of output or results of a plus b is displayed in the this parallelogram c so variable c and at last our flow chart is end and that's too easy to construct thank you thanks for watching i hope you like the video